Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Mr. Walk7. And I wanted to make this video because the only videos that really get regularly commented on in this channel are my old 2011, 2012 ANCAP videos. Because people really seem to get caught up in their sub ideologies and how much they differ from my sub ideology at the time which was anarcho capitalism at the time I wanted to do an intersectional anarchy thing where I would sort of bridge the gap between left and right anarchism to do that I had to resolve the problem of archons within anarcho-capitalism because at the time it really didn't make any sense you would remove the state but you would still have these capitalists these leaders that would pretty much be a lot more chaotic version of the previous lawful I archons and I didn't really have the vocabulary to deal with this issue, but I still wanted to sort of resolve that problem. What I failed to realize was that it was a problem that was resolving itself. And what I failed to realize was that there was a bigger problem deep within that. Now, anarcho-capitalists have taken lawful viewpoints within their own belief in order to make it less cognitively dissonant, to make it more anarchist-like. Or they just say, forget it, let's be anti-status. But some of the things that they do is take principles like the NAP, self-ownership principle, which are rooted in the prime directive from Star Trek, which is socialist propaganda, and that's how they modify anarcho-capitalism to be a little less chaotic. Or, they would throw in polycentric law. With polycentric law, uh, you could essentially set it up so that there are ways of that you can avoid some of the problems with the new pseudo archons how chaotic they are and so at the same time make them less rulers and more something else and then eventually it became this thing of forced pay you gotta pay for certain things to avoid the free rider problem and now the issue is just going around spiraling out of nowhere Eventually, there will be a resolve. But at the end of the day, whether or not anarcho-capitalism becomes lawful, goes from neutral chaos or chaotic neutral to lawful neutral, it's still going to be neutral. It's still going to be what the problem with left anarchy is that it's too neutral to work. And that really is a big issue. And it's also part of an even bigger issue, which is the fact that there's always going to be a new chaotic strand, chaotic neutral strand of anarchism that's going to be shunned by the rest of anarchy i.e. anarcho-monarchism, anarcho-nationalism, and even individual anarchism, which is actually old school. It's that Max Stirner stuff, but no one seems to try to resolve that because there's no way. It's deconstructionist. It denies morality. It tries to go the route of, well, forget about 
ethics. That's all a delusion. It's all a construct. All that matters is the self. Whatever Max Turner says. I'm paraphrasing badly on purpose. However, it's chaotic. I've said that before. There's going to be a new chaotic strand, a chaotic neutral strand of anarchy, and it's going to get shunned. Then it's going to switch its principles around or stay in its obscure shunned position. The only thing that's going to stay consistent is a neutrality. Now, Sword Sage made a video the day Obama got elected where he said that if and when the GOP dies, we don't want a one-party system. We want a Libertarian Party, a Green Party, a Labor Party, and even an Anarchist Party, because that would be really interesting if we could see that. That's what he said. And that's why you should only listen to Sword Sage when he speaks about polit I mean, swords, not politics, because when he speaks about politics, he says weird fedora stuff like that. I mean, he acknowledges that it's absurd, but he decides to say it anyway. That's what I love about the guy, and that's kind of what irritates me about the guy. Like, stick to swords. Stay in your lane, boy. Speaking of which, I knew sword he got was type fire. But could, but he needs to stop talking about his wife. I hate when YouTubers get married. And, or they get a girlfriend, finally. And they do this thing where they always say their wife's opinion on this subject. Or, if their wife was witnessing a dialect on the subject. Like, my wife said this, or my wife saw this movie too, and she said this about it. Like, could you guys stop being so beta? It's painful. But you'll never see an anarchist party because it's a neutral ideology, and it would be absurd. I know, back in my anarchist days, when someone ever asked, why don't you guys ever, like, interact with politicians and try to form a dialect? It sounds stupid because it is stupid. Then it wouldn't be anarchy. Now there is Spain. There is our inter... Inter... Insurrectionist anarchists. I was about to say intersectional anarchists. But... Insurrectional anarchists would actually get things going, and that's why when most people think of anarchists, IRL people, normal fags, they think of insurrectionist anarchists because they're chaotic. They do weird stuff like break windows and listen to crappy music and they choose to be British <laughs> because that's how they intend to get their views across not just being neutral, not just spreading awareness and I find that really interesting that's pretty much all I gotta say on the subject to give my little conclusion before the 10 minute mark hits, eventually anarcho-capitalism will go from chaotic, neutral, to lawful neutral like its market anarchy counterpart, but there will still be new, edgier strands of anarchy for the special snowflakes of this world. And whether or not they choose to adapt, that's depends on how many principles they choose to create and take, how many elements of the lawful side they choose to take. But either way, they're all going to be neutral aligned, because that's the alignment of anarchism. And how they intend to succeed in creating their society 
they have to do it in a way that's neutral. Because it's the most logical way. And that's kind of why I don't want any part of it. Aside from the fact that it's ideology. That it's only going to get in my way. And it's only going to get in the way of my interests. Which is hating the status quo. Now how can I hate the status quo and what has become the world right now and handle it in a neutral way? I gotta handle it in a chaotic way or a lawful way. I gotta be a bit more aggressive about my disdain. But that sounds edgy because it is edgy in a way. There is some chaos in that rhetoric. And... And that's just that. This is Mr. Monka 7, and respect the king.